pen creation. A mixed martial art so old, it can be traced back to the Olympics of ancient Greece. Translated as all powers, pencration means exactly that. Anything goes. With the unique combination of kicks, takedowns, throws, and joint locks, a pancratiast is equipped to force his opponent into submission. These techniques may be thousands of years old, but this sport is very much a part of the present. One of the most powerful offensive moves in pancration is the gestrizen, a straight line kick to an opponent's midsection. Unlike most kicks which land to the side, ball or top of the foot, the gastrizin uses the heel to deliver the blow. This alignment of the heel, ankle, lower leg complex channels some 2,000 pounds of force into the opponent, more than enough to break a baseball bat. One of the most effective takedowns in a pancratius arsenal is the Arpog Padayan, or double leg takedown. The execution requires perfect timing. Eyeing an opening in his opponent's defense, the pancratius drops low using the power of his hips and thighs. He lifts his opponent straight into the air before body slamming him back to the ground. The higher you can lift your opponent in this move, the faster he'll hit the ground. It's not just your force working against him. His acceleration due to gravity can mean his head hits the ground with a 3,500 pound impact. On a hard surface like concrete, this is more than enough to cause a serious brain injury. The ripsiomo, or shoulder throw, begins in a clinch. But instead of holding your opponent, you reach up and hook his forearm, while simultaneously turning his back and pulling him forward and off balance. Once he's moving, you get your hips under his and roll your torso forward, heaving him up and over your shoulder. First, the opponent's arm works as a lever to optimize your control. Second, your own back serves as a pivot point for the throw. The strength and stability of your back allows you to throw a much heavier opponent than in a move that requires you to lift him. The across reason, or shoulder lock, is a lethal joint attack inspired by a Spartan disarmament technique. For this shoulder lock, you first throw your opponent to the ground. When he's there, squeeze his head between your thighs and twist his arm behind his back, locking the shoulder joint and leaving him at your mercy. This move uses your opponent's arm as a lever working against him. The greater the torque on his shoulder, the greater the pain inflicted, and exceeding the joint's normal range of motion causes more than just pain. The soft tissue, muscles, and bone can all be seriously damaged by this pressure. The ancient moves of pancreation continue to be a part of a modern MMA fighter's arsenal. Moves like the Achilles leg lock, which begins with your opponent on his back. After breaking his guard, you trap his ankle against your torso and lock your arms against the back of his legs, right on the Achilles tendon. Then, falling backwards, you lock your own thighs around your opponent's trapped leg. The goal of this lock is to stress the tendons at the top of the foot to the breaking point. The strongest tendons have a tensile force threshold of just over 400 pounds. Applying any more pressure than that can tear the tendons from their base or snap them in two. Gash treason, Arpong Padaya, Ripsy Omo, Crocherizen, and Achilles Leg Block. With moves like these in his arsenal, a pancratiast becomes a modern-day human weapon.